In this episode, we're going to talk about whether or not you should wear a pair of weightlifting shoes when lifting. I want you to have the capability to fully move the way your body was designed to, right? Jump up ahead, I'll take you back to where my problems lie. Get trouble, younger daughter, done some shit that made my mama cry. Out to the heavens like I'm blessing for I know he's lost. Caught in the trance and this manic depression settled in. Living in the fantasy world. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dr. Aaron Horshik from Squaw University, and this is episode 18 of the Ask Squaw You Show. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Can't wait for this episode. I think it's going to be a good one. Let's get to today's question. Michael writes, can you do a video about weightlifting shoes, specifically about heels, because it's a controversial subject. One of my hand physiotherapists says it isn't good for your knees. For the other hand, we see a lot of weightlifters who use it. My question is, if I have poor mobility in my ankle, can I use weightlifting shoes to increase my range of motion without any sorts of problems? I know I have to work on ankle mobility, but it can help to some point in my opinion. So if you walk into any gym, CrossFit box, weightlifting or powerlifting gym, all over the world, you will see a number of different types of shoes people are wearing. People may be wearing some of the newer CrossFit S shoes, you got the Reebok Nanos or the Nike Metcons. You may see people just lifting in your classic running shoe. Or you may see a weightlifting shoe with the classic distinguished raised heel. Now, this shoe has been popular in the sport of Olympic weightlifting for years. Uh, Olympic weightlifters first started experimenting with the shoe with the raised heel around the 1950s. Um, and now it's become a little bit more popular to see in an everyday gym. You don't have to be just an Olympic weightlifter to rock one of these. So what I want to do today is talk about why this shoe is so important, what it can do to your lifting, and whether or not you should always wear one. Now the first thing you'll notice when you put on a weightlifting shoe with your classic raised heel is that it's much easier to squat all the way down while maintaining an upright chest. I'm going to demo that for you today. I'm going to perform a high bar back squat with no shoes and with the weightlifting shoes so you can see what I mean. So first, classic back squat without any shoes on. Now I'm going to put a pair of shoes on and we're going to be able to see the difference. So how does a weightlifting shoe help so much? Well, first off, it's designed with a hard, non-compressible sole. Now, usually this was made with uh, wood, but it is now often made with a non-compressible hard plastic, especially in the Adidas and the new Nike shoes. Now, what that does is it raises the heel about two and a half centimeters. Now, if you want to get fancy, this is about a 20 to 22 millimeter heel drop, so the distance between the height of the heel and the height of the midfoot. Now, let's compare that. Classic CrossFit shoe, Reebok Nano, has about a three to four millimeter heel drop. This is basically a flat sole shoe, and this is semi-compressible, which means it's not a very hard surface. Now, compared to your classic running shoe, most shoes that are made for running have about a 13 to 15 millimeter heel drop. This means that there's more of a heel, but it's also very compressible. This is because most people who buy a running shoe land on their heel. Now there are some flat sole running shoes for most people who are mid foot strikers, but for the large majority of people, they land with their heel every time they heel strike during their running pattern. So they have a big, basically a marshmallow in their heel that forces a lot of the force from landing on that heel towards the rest of their foot. Now, that's not very good when squatting because if you try to squat on a marshmallow, it's not going to be very stable. So the running shoe should be your first no-no when it comes to squatting. Now, why is a weightlifting shoe so important? Now, like I showed with that demonstration earlier, when you squat with the weightlifting shoe, it allows your knees to translate further forward over your toes giving you the impression of more ankle mobility. This then allows your hip to drop as far as they can towards the ground while maintaining a more upright chest. Now, for your classic lifts like your front squat, your overhead squat, or your Olympic lifts like your snatch and clean and jerk, this then allows you to be more efficient because a more upright chest position allows you to lift more weight without allowing the bar to fall forward. 
So a weightlifting shoe is extremely important if you want to be as efficient as possible in those lifts. Now some people do like to squat barefoot or with a flat sole shoe and if you have excellent ankle mobility and great foot stability that's okay but a large majority of people have limited ankle mobility which will hurt your technique by causing you to have more forward chest position and possibly lead to some knee valgus or knee collapse. A weightlifting shoe, because of the raised heel, takes a little bit of pressure off some of those stiff muscles and tissues in the back of your leg. That, when you're in a very deep position, can lead to the knee caving in. So if you do have stiff ankles, a weightlifting shoe can be a great help. Now, it doesn't mean you should stop doing your ankle mobility work, but when it comes time to pick up the barbell, I want you to maximize your current capabilities and wearing a shoe like this can be a great help. So to the question, does a forward knee position when using a weightlifting shoe hurt your knee eventually? The answer is no. Now we made a long ask squat you about this a couple episodes ago, and I'd ask you to go back and watch that because what it does is debunk this myth that a knee forward position in a deep squat, a deep snatch, a deep clean, it is not bad for your knees. It's how you get there that makes all the difference. If you use good technique and start with your hips during a squat, the knee must come forward in order to maintain good technique. But that is not a harmful position in someone that has healthy knees. Now, if you're a power lifter using a low bar back squat position, should you use a weightlifting shoe? The answer is really, it depends. Some power lifters like the feel of a hard, firm surface to push off of while they're squatting, even though they're using a low bar back squat position that does not require as much forward knee movement. Some shoes come out now that have a half size heel, and that can be a little bit more helpful for those who need a little assistance with their ankle mobility, but still want a full, firm surface to push off of. All right, final thoughts. While I think every single person should have the capability to perform a good body weight squat without any shoes on, whenever you pick up a barbell, sometimes putting on a pair of weightlifting shoes with a raised heel like this can be a great help at maximizing your technique capabilities. Now, it's all about finding what you feel best in. If you feel best squatting in a pair of Chuck Taylors or a pair of CrossFit Nanos, there's nothing wrong with it necessarily. Though, if putting on a pair of weightlifting shoes can help you lift more weight and hit better technical positions, an investment in a pair of shoes like these can be well worth it. Some of the top line shoes will run about $200, but they will last you for many, many years. You can also find a number of options for weightlifting shoes nowadays for less than $100. So my question of the day then is what type of shoes do you lift in? Do you lift in a weightlifting shoe? Do you use a flat sole shoe like a Chuck Taylor or a CrossFit shoe? Or do you squat in running shoes? I wanna know your answer in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's Ask Why You Show, please let me know in the comment section below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Until next week, guys, happy squatting. Hometown you were on the road doing shows and sold out arenas You can call me what you want but you won't ever slow my dreams up This is the vision of a dreamer I seem to